Ooh, it's it's like right on your day. Not a good mix. I'm gonna need to change Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And a light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Fallokia's fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown-off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? You feel an all-too-familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. Aha! A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the Absolute. I have a special sample, available just for you, if you wish. This one will be very useful against any and all enemies of Gortash. Be sure to be clear of its explosion area. Please enjoy responsibly, and nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else I can do for you? What else? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. We're purveyors of smoke powder. Anything that can be lit, flamed, or fired up. Smoke powder is a beautiful mistress. She will not be limited to one form, and she is quite malleable in the right hands. What are you really asking, friend of Gortash? I see. Then he must not have received my update. You may bring this message to him. Everything is right on schedule. The next batch will be dispatched within a ten day. Exceptional quality, if I do say so myself. The Gondians will know it when they see it. I believe that concludes this purchase order. We very much appreciate Lord Gortash's continued honoring of our humble establishment with his custom. Maintaining temperature. I mean, can't believe it. Have you tried the Lantanese candles? Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted torch is more to your taste? Aha! You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Yes, yes. He's just upstairs. But only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, Any torches, matches, wizards, or other sources of open flame, keep them unlit, please. We're steady. Are we at temperature yet? He's a bit of a genius, isn't he? At sales, not fireworks. Of course, it helps to have the only license in town to sell the stuff. Barrel suit. Head on up. Your uncle is waiting for you upstairs. Pipes are looking a little rusty. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Another friend of Felagir? All right. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. Looking to buy a little something extra then? That could not be less of your business. Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. To the easy path. Be wary. <laughs> Little and found his forks gutted. Didn't see it happen, though, thank my gods. City's home to some proper sick bastards. Steady. Steady. In. I... I got lost. And then, when I found Mummy and Daddy again, 
they wouldn't get up. I shouldn't have run away. I'm sorry. Oh, poor kid found his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. Are we at temperature yet? Gonna need to change out this barrel. Parabella. Steady. You sought a fight, and now you have one. I think you've been a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. <laughs> Not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Barrel suit. <laughs> Flower and bloom as I know. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a Not the communal a use, it seems. Best show some. Just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Being arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. You've convinced them for now. But transgress again, and no amount of talking will get you out of trouble. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a cool pipe. Uh, not critical. Your stealing has bastard. caught someone's attention. What will you do? You've been given the benefit of the doubt this time. What do you want me to do? Arrest the smell? Some help you are. Where's the smell? Mm, gonna need to change out this barrel suit. Seen your uncle yet? Best not to keep him waiting. Have you tried the Lantanese or but You do not have an appointment. Yet you seek an audience with Mr. Carrion. Since you too like to wander the boundaries between life and death, you have read the Necromancy of Thay. Tell me, what brings one of such power into the presence of Mystic Carrion? That depends on what torments you. Love, vengeance, regret. The dead can be put to all sorts of purposes in the hands of one adept at their manipulation. I am a spirit, Medium. One who wanders 
the hazy boundaries of mortality, bearing the intentions of the living and the knowledge of the dead. You possess some aptitude in that regard, but I'm afraid you aren't of the caliber required to be one of my regular clients. Is that so? Yes, I see. A brief and superficial incantation cast by only the crudest of magicians. No customer of mine would ever settle for such parlor tricks, nor would they pay for them. If that is the sum of your curiosity, then I'm afraid we have nothing more to discuss, in this life at least. Unless, of course, you are looking for a job. Mm. Yes. My spirit star. They think you might be capable. Very well. You may help me with a small matter. I have an assistant, Thrombo. A conduit I used to maintain my connections with the ethereal plane. Unfortunately, he has deserted his duties. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrombo's body to me, and I will see that you are suitably compensated. It's quite simple. He resented having to work for a living. The undead can be rather lazy in that regard. He was always a simple, contented creature, a beggar to the bone. Perhaps he has forgotten how ungenerous the world can be, or simply prefers to live in the gutter. If he does not value the gift I gave in reanimating that wretched flesh of his, then I will take it back. It is my property, not his. Had I thought you were the type to shout his name from the rooftops, I would never have offered you the job. Thrumbo is not alone in his ingratitude. He has led others in my service astray. Three of them. Beggars and zombies alike. The others lack even Thrombo's modicum of intelligence. It should be no great task to wring his location from one of them. Then, with the spirits herein our witnesses, the arrangement is made. They will follow your progress with great interest. As will I. A secret lair in the Undercity ruins. What was Carrion doing there? who I was asking. Please, please don't hurt us. Anything would help. 
any amount at all. Little dizzy. He's high. Thank 
you for cutting those creatures down. Truly, oh, gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. Did you hear this was the best place to buy fish in the city as well? Seems they neglected to mention the sea devils. Thanks again for dealing with those so wagon. You saved more than just my livelihood. A bit quieter after the Shawagan attack, but that's to be expected. Loyal customers will be back. Fesh mainly. The flaming fest commandeer the best of, but I can show you what I've got. I don't think you're the sort of company I ought to be keeping. Else, I read about you on the privy, didn't I? Likes of you just make it hard on the likes of me. Pick to fight the cons. Are we scheduled for maintenance? I can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Yes. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Steady. Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. I'm picking my teeth out of the roof beams. Where's an apprentice when you need one? Done. Eight, nine, ten. Good. All fingers intact. Gonna need to change out uh, this barrel soon. If it breaks, won't blow us up. Teeth out of the roof. Such a curious artifact. So small and seemingly harmless, and yet it contains so much. To see everything. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Eight, 
Nine, ten. Good. All fingers intact. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. Happy place. Find a route. Tempers are rising. It's clear not... Your stealing has caught someone's attention. What will you do? You'll walk free. Your stealing has caught someone's attention. What will you do? You'll walk free. Have to keep going. That corpse is huge. And is that a burning heart? A clown's arm, stained with grease paint and blood. The corpse regards you lifelessly. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Making me soup. Ruined. No. Killed. Murdered. No more questions. Carla, 
cliff gate. That can't possibly be you, can it? <gasps> Fitz! If you want a sight for sore eyes. Where the hells have you been, girl? Last I heard you'd run off to Neverwinter, and that was what? Ten years ago? <laughs> Neverwinter? <laughs> Who told you that? Gortash. Said you didn't even give notice. Ha! <laughs> that prick, but... <sighs> Never mind that. Look at you. The years have been good to you. I won't lie. They have. Well, go on, girl. Tell me everything. First thing first. You saw the news, didn't you? About Archduke Gortash. Right? Oh, I'm sure the fox will make a great duke of the hen house. I think you were the only thing that kept him a little honest. After you left, things got dark, fast. I got out while my soul was still intact. Started working for an arms merchant. Still in the trade, as you can see. Like my fellow Gregor that way. We've been together eight years now. And Carlach, we have a little one on the way. Fitz! That's incredible! Congratulations! Mum life, huh? You're going to be incredible. Gods, I hope so. Even after all these years, it seemed to happen so fast. But now that you're back in town, you must come to ours. All of you. We'll have a good supper, catch up. You can meet Gregor. And the little one, in a few months. Are the two of you together? Uh-huh. Isn't he handsome? Absolutely. You're well suited, I can tell just by looking at you. Pleasure to meet you, by the way. I can't tell you how good it is to see you, Fitz. I'd love to come have dinner with you and Gregor. We're in the city on some urgent business, but can I come find you when it's all settled? I'd love that. Meanwhile, if you're still in the business of intimidation, you should take a look at my stock. I hope that wasn't a lie. I hope we do get to meet up with Fitz when this is all over. First step, save the city. Then, save myself. And last but not least, dinner with an old friend. What more could you ask for? It's street art. If you don't like it, you can literally walk away. Oh, well, that's nice to hear. Thanks. Just... Yes. Um... Arms for the poor. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The same that tainted mystic Carrion's chambers. This is one of his runaway servants. Anything you can spare for a humble beggar? Thrumbo? Is he in trouble? What an excellent idea. Thumbo had a plan. He was going to find us an abandoned house. Somewhere to hide away from Carrion. <laughs> in the Baldur's Mouth Gazette? Oh, shit. You're the one in the new Gazette edition. Look. I know I'm not supposed to believe everything I read, but even if a fraction of what they wrote about you in that article is true, I want nothing to do with you. Sorry. <laughs> I read about you in the paper. Seems someone's been a bit naughty. Adventures aid absolute. Is any truth to that? The 
cat seems to be trying very hard to remain aloof and not wholly succeeding. I can't resist a man in uniform, or anyone else for that matter. 